Hello, and welcome to another tech tip. I am Lisa Louise Cook, and today we are going to talk about better Google searching. Now, I'm guessing that you have run Google searches in the past and gotten some good results, and then over time, as millions and millions of more web pages come online, the results get to be millions and millions. And that's really frustrating. It starts to feel like it's just kind of a waste of time and a lot of people abandon using Google to search for family history. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you one way that you can better speak Google's language so that it understands what you're looking for and that you get better results faster. This one you're gonna be using almost every day. It's quotation marks. Let's head to Google and run a search. Okay, well, here we are at google.com. So let's run a search and I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to search for a great, great grandfather of mine, Conover Burkett. And I want to also search for his wife, Viola Smith, because I'm looking for records that include the two of them. Now, look at this. When I get my search results, I'm looking at 121,000 search results. That's going to take a while. <laughs> um, but we can narrow this down. And, and here's why we need to do this. If you look down here, you can see in the first result, it absolutely says Conover Burkett together with Viola Smith. And those names are complete names. And you know that that looks like a really good match. But not too far down the page, you can see down here, the Pennsylvania School Journal. Here, it's W.L. Smith. It's Rosetta Conover. You see what's happening? It's taking each of those keywords and saying, I found a website that has Conover, Burkett, Viola, and Smith, but not necessarily in any kind of context. You can really quickly fix this. We're gonna use quotation marks, and that's a search operator. Search operators are those little symbols and keywords that help Google understand what you're trying to accomplish. And this is going to be something that you can use almost on a daily basis. It's so effective. So I'm gonna just come back up to my search query here, and I'm gonna put quotation marks around Conover Burkett and around Viola Smith, okay? So that tells Google, you have to give me these names with Conover first and Burkett second as one phrase and Viola first and Smith second as a second phrase. And each one of those phrases has to be on every search result. We went from 121,000 search results to two pages on the web that have those specific phrases. You can see it really, really narrows it down. And if we look on here, ah, the first one here at familysearch.org, Henry Burkett in entry for Conover Burkett and Viola Smith. There's Indiana marriages, ah, a marriage record. That's exactly what I was looking for. And then also here, um, another one at ancestry.it, which is the Italian version of Ancestry. So it really scoured the web and found what we were looking for. Now, you can imagine that there could be some issues here if on a website, the last name was mentioned first, and then the first name, that can happen in transcriptions, right? Any kind of index, any kind of listing of names. So you can play around with this, and we could say Burkett, Conover, and see what happens. Now, if you do it just like this, Google's going to say there is no web page on the web that has all three of these phrases. By putting quotation marks around them, we've told Google that these are mandatory. They have to be on every web page and they have to be these words in this order. But the OR operator can give you flexibility between the two phrases. So let's, let's just take Viola out of the equation right now so we can just work with Conover Burkett and Burkett Conover, because these are two different ways his name may appear on a web page. We're going to put the search operator OR in between. OR you're going to put in capital letters. That tells Google that that is working as a search operator. And now 
Look how many more results, 34 pages on the web. This is just the perfect sweet spot of searching on Google. Not too many, not too few, but hitting every mention of these names uh, in either format, first name first or last name first. And interestingly, of course, a lot of these pages are posted by me because I was looking for information about them, but there's other pages here as well. Um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wrap up this tech tip video because I've got some results to take a look at. Some of these I have not seen before. So there you have it. Using search operators like quotation marks to make the phrase or just a single word mandatory and also that it appears in that order, in that context, in combination with the OR search operator, which gives us some flexibility between the two phrases, you are going to have some fabulous new search results coming your way. Not too many, not too few, but just right. I hope you've enjoyed this tech tip. And this tip comes straight out of my book, The Genealogist Google Toolbox, the new second edition is completely updated. You're going to love it because it's these kinds of techniques. If you know them and see how they work, they can really make your online searching so much more effective. You're going to be spending more time with ancestors and less time combing through irrelevant searches. I'm Lisa Louise Cook. Thanks so much for joining me, friend, and I'll talk to you soon. Subscribe to